So the biggest problem with small spaces is they're small and it makes it really, really hard to stay clean, organized, and tidy. Never mind, just have space to even work in. The biggest problem I have is gear organization, where to put all the stuff so that it's easy to get to, quick to be creative, and just keeps it clean. You know when something's clutter free, it frees up your mind to think and do other things. Anyway, the solution I have that I've had for quite some time actually, and I've wanted to share <laughs> for a while is Da, 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 da. I know, it's, well, it's hard to see because it's focusing on me, so let's get a little bit closer. So this is my small space storage solution. It's a Husky 26 inch rolling tool chest cart. And it's not a new solution. I mean, technically so many filmmakers out there have made videos where they're like, hey, I use Husky rolling carts. They just get the huge ones and they cost like seven, $800. This one costs $130. You assemble the wheels and the handle, that's it. It's not so heavy that you cannot get it into a small like SUV type car. So for that, I think it's a really great solution. And also for a small space, you don't want the biggest thing in the world. I like this small space one. It was affordable. It just makes sense. The dimensions for it are 26 inches wide, 18 inches deep, and 32 inches tall. That's with the wheels attached. Now, when it comes to the drawer depth, because that's the most important, obviously, for fitting cameras and whatnot in here, you got four and a half inches top to bottom inside the top drawer and then the next three down you get about five and a half five and three quarters which is a pretty decent size additionally it comes with this rubber mat grip type of thing it's actually really handy and i use it because it came with it i didn't have to go out and buy anything also because i'm thinking of it it does come with a set of keys where you can lock all the drawers i wouldn't say it's the most like secure thing in the world but if you don't want somebody coming along and just ripping the drawers open then that's helpful. Also, speaking of drawers, you don't want more than two open at any time that has heavy gear in it, because like I found out, it actually starts tipping the cart over, and that's not something you really want. So now for the fun part, I'm gonna show you the inside a little bit, just tell you what kind of fits in it so that you can get an idea of what would fit if you wanted to go with this. You should know that it's not pretty. It's not Instagram, it's not beautiful, like, oh wow, camera gear. It's practical, all right? It fits the gear. It makes sense to me <laughs> and I can find what I want. And that's the most important is that it's fitting my needs. So starting with the top drawer, most people put cameras and lenses. I don't, I put everything that I need to grab quickly. So some batteries, some uh, like accessories and whatnot, gaff tape. I put my giant batteries in here because that makes sense. I'm grabbing them and charging them up all the time. Lots of engineering parts, if that makes any sense, because I do product video a lot. I'm often building stuff to solve a problem or a need. And so I'll just have random doodads like screws or rubber bands or glue or X-Acto knives are in here as well and whatnot. I also keep small tools in here because sometimes I need to take apart a light or a camera accessory or something like that. So it's really handy just to have my small tools laying around. And then I also keep my Float Pro in here. This is something that I showed you how I built and I use it to make products magically float. If you want to watch that video, I'll put it up here. It's a really good one. <laughs> I share my secrets, right? So this I keep in here as well because I'm often grabbing stuff, like I said, for product video or just rigging things up. The second drawer is where I keep cameras and lenses and stuff like that. So right now I've got the Blackmagic 6K Pro out. Um, it has the handle on it. I do have to break it down because it doesn't quite fit laying down with the handle on it. So I do have to take the handle off, but it will fit in here just like that. I keep a few lenses in here, microphones, and then batteries, once again, the ones that I don't use so often for my 6D Mark II, which I'm shooting on right now because I have a unique solution to battery problems, which I made a video about that as well. So put that up here, lots of stuff to watch afterwards. Now, something I do all the time is I use boxes from gear that I've gotten that are sturdy to use as kind of like organizational pieces in here. So like this one, for instance, is from Bebop. It was their stand holder and it fit perfectly all of my filters in it. And then I just use cardboard to kind of keep them organized and to say, these are the mist filters, these are the ND and polarizer filters, just as a quick reference of when I go to grab one, I just wanna grab the right one. Which by the way, highly recommend the mist filter. I currently have it on here right now. I'll link it down below and everything else I'm kind of vaguely mentioning. Um, it is one of my absolute favorite filters. It's leveled up my videos dramatically. So if you want one, Moment has it, get it from them. Awesome. 
So the third drawer kind of keeps things that are like maybe larger and I'm not using all the time or need to be just stored away. So like this is the A10 Mini Pro. And then I also have my rig for the 6K Pro in here as well. Keep a lot of boxes because I'm a hoarder of boxes, which that's a common filmmaker thing, I think. Do you do that? That's the big question. Comment below if you hoard random boxes because you might sell it one day or you might need that box because it's really nice. Or I don't even know the reason. Tell me the reason if you know the reason. That's more important. Yeah, so this is just a mix of stuff. I've got some hard drives in here. I've got like uh, cables and whatnot, HDMI. And then the last drawer, same thing, just odds and ends. Sometimes they're big things. Sometimes they're just, I don't know where to put it. So I put it there because it makes the most sense. Basically, it's like my closet and I just stuff it in there. And nobody sees it. That's the beauty of this thing right here. Because <laughs> before I was using my wire rack shelf, which I still have, it's right here. And everything's out in the open, everybody can see it. And also it's hard to stack things on a wire shelf because you're always at risk of knocking things over. So this keeps it from the risk of falling because it's inside a drawer. And also I can lock it up. So it just, I guess, has some security to it of sorts. Um, and ultimately, since it has wheels, I also use this as a product tabletop sometimes when I just need one. So it has like multiple good factors going for it. Oh, as far as charging station goes, I've kind of got one going on here. This is for my V-mount batteries back here. Then I have just cords right here that I can use to charge any other batteries that I have. But since most everything I'm using goes off of a V-mount battery now, I use just pretty much the V-mount battery charger. So honestly, check that video out. It makes the most sense for my setup and what I'm doing. So all in all, I really don't have much of a complaint about this because it's been great. It's helped me be organized, made me more creative. Honestly, it's just been super easy to know where something is, slide the drawer out and grab it without the worry of everything else getting knocked over and losing stuff and not knowing where it is. And also it just keeps the space clutter free. So that's a big plus. Honestly, I wish more people had talked about this size, the 26 inch, because most people are talking about the really big four foot long ones. They're super heavy, hard to get around. This is like a little tip or secret or a, a trick or something. And I just wish more people had talked about it because if I'd known sooner, I would have done this sooner. So this is a trick that I hope helps you. Speaking of tricks, I want to plug myself shamelessly for something I've created that I think would help you out. And it's all with tricks of the trade for product video. I've got a free training. It's 30 minutes long. I stuffed literally everything you could think of and need into that video. It's going to help you get started, answer questions, show you tricks, and basically cover everything from pre-production to editing for product videos. I don't know why I gave so much away, but I did. So if you want to check that out, it's linked down in the description. Would love for you to check it out, see if that's something you enjoy. More tricks, more secrets, more everything. <laughs> More chips, actually, because I love, I love chips. So I'm gonna go back to snacking and editing this video. Anyway, that's it for me. If you have any questions or you're gonna go out and build this yourself, comment down below. I like hearing from you all. It's quite fun to read comments. So that's it for me. I'll see you next time.